In this episode, I will be talking about major mistakes that players do not only in ranked, but also in VCT, just like Scream did. In today's episode, we're going to fix three mistakes that people are doing a lot, including pro play. Right here, this is Carmine Cole versus Koi, and you're going to pay attention to what Scream is doing, because he is literally throwing around because of a very bad habit. He gets an insane free k in a moment. Pay attention to what's gonna have Scream gonna do. One, two. And he just sprayed the ground by getting it after getting a kill. Essentially, this is a very bad habit that comes um, from, let's say, history of playing Counter Strike in 1.6. Somehow, people in pro uh, and like every single player in in those in those very old CS versions were always spraying after getting a kill. And now it's so ingrained in players, and people copy it as well because they think it looks cool that they just drag the fucking crosser to the ground and spray. But it literally gets you killed. And it's such a bad habit that if you're using it too much, you're just gonna do it subconsciously. And I would literally say, please put a spray somewhere that is not close to your buttons that you typically use. There's gonna be actually two, two tips that are very, very close to each other. You don't want to do this any time in the game because Scream here literally lost around. Maybe he would have clutched it out if you didn't do this. And if a pro player can have a bad habit like this, right? That means that other players will have it as well. It's one of the easiest things to fix. Just go to your game, unbind spray, and rebind it to something else. I don't know, let's say O or P, you know? That's one of the things that you can fix very easily and not die because of it. Because I'm certain if you died at least once because of that spray, type a reply, type a comment in YouTube. And by the way, also remember that making sprays is actually doing a sound cue. So when you're doing a sound cue, you'll give away your position when playing ranked. And I can guarantee you that I got a lot of information by someone spraying recklessly while being in the spawn because he thought he was going to hear the spray here, you know? But then he shifts. Like, it makes no sense. Just please unbind the spray, spray rebind it to something else, or just stop using it altogether. It's an insanely bad habit that you need to fix to perform just better. Very occasionally, it's very niche, but sometimes... It's very tilting when you're gonna lose a round like this. An other bad habit that I see a lot of people actually do in ranked is reload too often. And that's actually something that is harder to fix because I know there's um, a lot of people coming not from the tactical, um, tactical games and they are just used to the fact that reload after essentially every kill. Like in Call of Duty, you essentially always reload because the TTK is so long that you don't have any more bullets after killing one person, because those people just take all the fucking ammo that you have, and then you need to reload. So people are reloading way too often. But in this game, you literally can kill every single player in the team with just one clip. It's all about not spraying panically and not using the reload as often as possible. Sometimes people will be baiting each other, and you're gonna think you're in safety after getting one kill because you're reloading, but then the other player will just peek you when you gave that sound cue that are reloaded. There's no reason to reload a Vandal when you're at 10 bullets. Like, there's really no reason for doing that. And if you are reloading, make sure that you're behind cover. It sounds like such a basic thing, but I can see in ranked that it is not basic. People are reloading way too often, are doing way too many sound cues that are not necessary, and are reloading in spots that are completely open, and you have no guarantee that someone will not swing you. And remember that the reload is very, very loud. It's actually the same distance as footsteps. So you're going to have a 100% position of your opponent when he's reloading. What is the best thing to do that? I fixed my bad habit of reloading by rebinding. Essentially the same as spray. So... My first reload was like everyone, at R, you know, because it's the standard one. But then I saw when I was playing CS 1.6, Source, that I, was <coughs> sorry, that I was reloading way too often. I rebounded to T when I was playing CS. But then when I had a, like a 10-year break of playing CS, I went back to Valorant. I again had the bad habit of reloading way too often. So I moved the, I moved the reload right now to scroll to scroll up, I think, but then I realized that I still do it a little bit too often, so I rebounded to C, 
on the keyboard. And now I really rarely reload. I rarely happen to find myself in a position where I needed to reload because you typically don't need more than 10 bullets to kill a player, you know? And it's if you don't win that gunfight with those 10 bullets, you're probably dead anyway, right? So unless you're 100% certain that you are in safety, don't reload. When you get one kill, don't insta reload. Like those guns, like Phantom or a um, or a Vandal, you have half a clip, you have one third of the clip, you can still kill multiple people with that. Just be disciplined and have good gun hygiene when it comes to taking gunfights. Um, yeah. And then third bad habit that I wanted to talk about. I don't think it's a habit because it's very rarely happening in ranked because people just don't communicate. But sometimes I do encounter people that play initiators are players that are just playing with flashes, stuns, with any kind of supportive utility, they tend to ask too many questions instead of being a leader. That's something that I encountered in um, in many of my duo mates, but I also had this bad habit some time ago. And I realized that it's slowing down the game. So when you're playing an agent, doesn't matter which agent are you, but if you want to support someone with utility, don't ask if they want it. Just be commanding and use it and tell them to use that utility piece that you use for their advantage. For example, if you're playing Breach and you're flashing, for you, you see that your, your teammate is next to you, right? You know what? We're going to put it in Valor Plant to illustrate this because it's actually pretty important. So we're going to speak about... Uh, about Breach because it's the easiest example because he's so focused on um, on helping other players and enable other players, right? Let's say that we're cascading on A side or maybe C side. This is a better example because it's very simple. So when Chamber and Jet are here, right? Don't ask your chat if he needs the flash. I know this is a very obvious, obvious uh, example, but instead tell him, I'm flashing backside. So I'm flashing backside, I'm flashing platform, I'm stunning um, logs and CT. If you tell people what are you doing instead of asking them what you what you want them to do, um, what sorry, what they want you to do for them, it saves not only time, but it gives them confidence. And it gives confidence to you as well. You're essentially a catalyst for the execute. So in this case, when you're when you're the breach, just make sure that you give comments to other people and not be questioning your own behavior because that's something that is super detrimental. And there are many many occasions when I play ranked, and I'm good to go as a you know to clear a corner. I know that I have a good timing, but then someone asks me, do I want to flash or do I want to stun? And I then I doubt myself because. I first have to check what is their position, understand what they want to do, so I cannot peek in that timing that I thought I have, and then I have to wait for it, and I potentially lose that timing that I had, and I become in a worse position than I was in the first place. All because it got slowed down. But if the teammate would have said instead, I'm flashing for you mid, or I'm flashing for you long, or whatever, or I'm stunning for you, just push, then that gives me more confidence and reinforces the um the the feeling that i had that i'm gonna peak now so those are actually very free easy things to to fix one rebind your spray or just unbind it two reload your spray uh, rebind your spray to something that you cannot use often and then three when communicating be decisive and be a leader even if you're not in-game leading you can still tell your teammates what utility and where you're using instead of asking them if they want it Hope you guys learned something from today's um, episode. See you guys around.